weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. And another episode of our Breland campaign on Divide and Conquer version 5. Most likely one of our last episodes of this series because we have been pushing quite hard here in the Gondor territory. Don't have that many regions left to take. Also in the north, our armies have done a great job with reclaiming Rohan. However, now that I'm looking at my map, I mean, the northern part, I think that's cool. We have Oldberg here, uh, where eventually we will be able to start retraining uh, armies as well. But if we look to the south, our armies are becoming very depleted. We have some units here in Fanulond. But then we have just this full stack here with, let's face it, not the best troops. And this army as well that doesn't have a lot of uh, infantry. And infantry is something that we lose. So a shit ton of uh, artillery. Not a lot of infantry. And as we are looking at the map here, we have Mordor full stack. Mordor full stack. Mordor full stack. Mordor Nazgul. So we really need to start sending reinforcements down here to the south. If we want the armies to... Um, Kind of meet up at Minas Tirith. We could also work it like that. Um, so this army, these armies are going to be the ones taking over Minas Tirith. Um, maybe even uh, Karandros and Oskiliath. Most likely not, but maybe. And then come down and take these regions. But that would also take quite a while. So we really need our reinforcements up here to the north to come as soon as yes. possible. But he's on his way. And a lot of these troops aren't even trained yet. So I'm thinking that I'm actually going to do like this. Londangren, you can get Freeland Militia just to make sure to keep peace. And that's still okay. And then we take you out and start just marching you, really. And you can see that it takes it'll take a while for them to get anywhere. Eorot, you can basically do the same far away As you, wish. We can go no further today. you just start going down to that gap first and yes you will be walking that way cool so they have some units on its way even though it's gonna be like 10 turns and uh, apart from that or more Your orders, my lord. regarding this episode yes, I'm thinking my anticipation is that it will be just a whole bunch of bridge battles. Brethil might be taken by this uh, army because you can reach it. And you, I don't think you'll be reinforcing it. And you'll be fighting on this bridge as well. And in the next turn, my plan is for this army to move towards Pelargir. They might have to fight this one. And we will give Fanulond to uh, Dolambroth in return for Ethring. And then we can give Ethring to Gondor. I'm hoping that's... Something that's going to work. We might have to pay a bit for it as well. But we don't really have a recruitment hub here in the south. And we won't be able to recruit here for quite some time. Anyway, we have such low culture. And when I know the Brethil is somewhat safe, then I will give that back to Gondor. Might even be worth doing it now because I think you might not be getting a garrison. That's the thing. And if you don't get a garrison, I'm just handing it over to Gon to Mordor anyway. But first of all, let's just end the turn and see how everything transpires. I do know that we also have a lot of troops at Tharbad. But I mean, it's so far for them to walk from Tharbad, which is basically in the center of our empire. All the way down to the east of, uh, to the east of Gondor. I mean, that's, that's going to take way too long. Wait, way too long. You can go back to Tharbad. We can see if we can get you retrained. You can get into Dunyard. Not really, though. Not yet. So, we have these lads that can march with these lads. Then we have, like... Oh, we have so much trash here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you and you and you and you. Why not? We can just take anything. All the free peoples of Middle-earth deserve to get in on this. 
And you can join there as well. And then you start marching. It might be more time efficient to just let them all um, go via the northern route. You can go into Dunlarak and then we'll kind of get an army going there as well. Bree, I mean, Bree. You can train units here just for the hell of it. Because actually, that can be the retrained sworn horseman. But we won't be able to use it anywhere because it takes so long to get them anywhere. That's the thing. Okay, we can just look through our messages. We are number one in a lot. We even passed Mordor, obviously, a lot of things. Military is Dolguldur and financial Casa Doom. Cool. Under towers. Let's upgrade you. Great stuff. And faction, whole bunch of retinue expansions. Good stuff. Construction. Angsu, you got the great roads. We are getting a lot of good um, financial buildings now. I think uh, corruption might be a problem here. Not really, though. So not really. We can go with that. And then Dunlada, crop rotation. Cheap farming, I think. Lundea. Go with the economic buildings. And Bregnas Trading Plaza. Right. We do need a lot of things here. And this is one of those good southern settlements. Actually, let's start with the roads. With good southern settlements, I mean that they are kind of close. But, I mean, this uh, series is going to be over before all of those buildings are done anyway. Trading Plaza. Let's start with that first. And then we can go with the roads. In Olkford. Can we train you? And here we are starting to train the army that's going to be led by this guy. Get in there and recruitment. Righto. All of you into that fort. Lander into the fort. You are already in a fort. And you go in there. You can also go in there actually and then in the next turn we already have a full stack wow this went quickly actually how many of you you don't have any movement points okay so next turn you will start marching long dang it in let's see if it might be worth it just starting to recruit more stuff here actually even though they're not gonna get there in time but if the east falls we will desperately need more troops. You need more men. Now, let's see. Uh, Dolamroth, we can trade Fanilond for Ethring. And a lot of money. We have 50,000. I want to give you Fanilond. And, and uh, let's say a single payment of... Two... No... To 20,000. And in exchange, I would like for you to give me a three. Very demanding, you say. Demanding. If I'll also give you military access and map information and give you 50,000. Five hundred thousand, fifty thousand. Still very demanding. You do not want to give that away. Until we meet again. But I don't want to keep Funny London. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's just defend it then, I guess. Yes, my lord. We will be fighting at that bridge, and looks like whatever army was here has actually left. So let's see if we can start moving you down towards. Most likely they're hiding somewhere, aren't they? But if we attack Karas right now, we will be able to take that one in one turn. Maintain for now. And then I will be giving Brethil to Gondor. I completely understand that. Maybe I should give them Fanyulond as well. If, uh, if Dolamroth really doesn't want to give us um, Ethering. Let's try. 
could we refuse such a generous so now we've given them more regions that's good they have modest wealth so they are starting to get somewhere in the world that's good really disappointed that uh, the Lambroth really didn't want to hand over a settlement ham 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 maybe i should have given them um Maybe I should have given them Fanyuland in exchange for military access or something. Yes, my lord. But now we need to try to fight this army. Can we merge anything up? Yes, we can. So put you there. Do you have anything here that's worth using? Some lumbermen, maybe. Everything else really just need to hide somewhere because you are so vulnerable right now. Can we just put the whole army into hiding here? Yes, they could hide there. So we are defending this bridge. We are sieging Karas, which I think we should just be able to take in a auto resolve. Yes. Sack the settlement. That's good. Destroy whatever we don't need here. And absolutely repair some stuff. And then, let's see, has the orcs built anything ugly here that we would like to tear down? Doesn't look like it. A lot of the buildings are Gondorian. They have a blacksmith. So that's good stuff. Now, let's see if we can get you into Pelargir. Yes, we can. So 85% chance they open the gates. And I think Kalanad has like 113, so that's good. Yes. They have moved back, which means that this army will be able to attack... If I put you there, okay. Oh, they could hide in plain sight. That's impressive. Yes, my lord. And move you over here as well. With honor, now, my lord. you won't be able to attack Kalanad because they're in the way, aren't they? Your will, my lord. And we still, we can't merge up anything more here. But I would like to be able to move the general out into this army. A room for three. Stu, stu. Something like this, I guess. Still very weak army, though. So I'm thinking, disband some stuff. You, I would rather have run the far way back to Mikkel Delving. For retraining. Continuing later. Oh, so many weak things. You can go into retirement. A lot of these units have done so great. You are mercenary, so I might as well keep you. Yes. Do you get any merc mercenaries? No. And Oldberg is super cranky. Let's just move these four in. Good. I think that's good-ish. We might be able to get... um. Might be, might be able to get a Man of the Hour somewhere when we use them. Approaching my lord. Approaching quietly, my lord. Okay. My lord. And you start going down to the fields of Pelennor, Herr Andros. Okay, they have stacks. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yes, my lord. Can we move down and assist them here? No. Okay, you just stay hiding. Yes. You will have to fight and win against Captain Gazuf, so that Gondor will have time to send reinforcements here. They are moving troops through the Dolamroth territory, so that's good. Maybe it's not such a big problem after all that it's divided. Okay, let's just start with this battle. Get it out of the way. Uh, they have numbers quite heavily, and they have... Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. They have great beasts, they have trolls. They have a lot of scary stuff. And we don't really have any... We would need more armor penetrating uh, units. But our archers will just have to focus entirely on the great beasts, first and foremost. But then on the trolls. They don't have a lot of archers in this army though, do they? Do they, Gandalf? I don't see anyone. Okay, interesting. They also have two units of cavalry. So let's just get in and hopefully at least kill a bunch of stuff. They only have a captain. So if we're able to kill him, 
they should start breaking. But also, the great beasts and the trolls are, of course, super scary. I am genuinely terrified of all of these things that can just cause uh, uh, effect or area damage and can just splurge all over everything. So, at the deployment right away, we have a line of infantry. Where I will want you... Oh, we really don't have a strong center line. So we're gonna have to do it like this. Actually, you are 820. 814. But I think you would do a better job in um, a line than these lads would. Still, we're such a weak line. There we go. And then we have... You will be reinforcing probably there. All of these lads will have to be used to um, charge at the flanks. Really not as strong of a cavalry as I would have wanted. Okay, we can put the crossbows there. So we have one side uh, protected by by stakes then we have all kinds of archers there we go you lads just right behind here and we have so much cavalry not so much but like two groups that's good general you're in the back good anything that i've forgotten to move i don't think so but man this is too weak of a center formation. Let's instead move you. Okay, you are back here. I'm wondering, should I just have you fight in the line instead? Maybe I can have one of them help out in the line. The lumberman will not be efficient in any um, in standing and fighting anyway, anywhere because they have basically no armor. Then we have this side. That's decent, I think. So, now. All of our frontline troops. There we go. Guard mode. And you... You can stop shooting for now. You... And start shooting. And they are... Starting to come towards us. And I don't think uh, it would be worth throwing our uh, units into the Southland Lancers. Maybe if we can, like, kill their general. Maybe that would be a great idea. Now the trolls are starting to move up. We'll start shooting at the trolls. You will need to conserve your ammunition, but you can just start shooting at the halberds. They have more halberds, don't they? Hmm, I'm actually really nervous about this one. Because it doesn't feel necessarily like uh, a battle we will win. And there it crashed. So we'll have to uh, start the quick save and then I'll come back to you. And we're back. I just basically went with the same formation as I've done before. Except I added the merged militia. Uh, to the front lines as well. They might not fare very well there because they have poor morale. But we have a general and hopefully it's all going to be just worked out fine. Now, I need you to aim at the trolls again and start shooting at them right away. You can't reach them yet, but you can reach the Black Uruk Halberds. So I'm going to let you shoot at that. And you can start shooting at those Halberds as well. And as soon as the Great Beasts are in reach, uh, that's where, what we're going to have to shoot at. I'm not a big fan of the wonky angle that you guys are shooting at. Some of you are shooting in a good angle, though. But I think I might have to move you back, actually. And the trolls, I mean, are they even blooded up at this point? Actually, they are starting to get a bit blooded up. You can start aiming for them as well. You can't, really.
There's Southern Lancers coming in. That's just a regular army, but they still will absolutely hurt my journeyman. So you will need to run back. Okay. Still 12. You need to start shooting at the Great Beasts instead. And just hope that whatever damage we have uh, dealt to the trolls, so you can keep shooting at them actually. And one thing I realized that I forgot now, put you in guard mode. Or guard position. Position. And just keep shooting from here. I think it's good that one unit is still shooting at the trolls. Oops. Are they going for the trolls? Might very well be. Start pulling back. Oh my god. And let's see if you can kind of counter charge them, I guess. You need to start running back and... Oh, they, the stakes have no effect on them whatsoever. Oops. And see if you can start charging in there. All the missile units that I have need to start focusing on the great beasts. And you don't need to shoot at all right now. But the cavalry is going to be, is going to get really hurt here. You charge into them. What are you doing? Pull back. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this battle altogether, actually. Really bad feeling. You start helping, and now all the great beasts are going to just absolutely stompede us. And the stakes had no effect on them either. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's send you in to fight the Great Beasts, I guess. Oh, we lost 12% to 13. Like I'm saying, I just have really bad, bad feeling about this one. Actually, start shooting at the Southern Lancers. Where's my cavalry right now? Need to see if we can ride you around somewhere, maybe start getting some charges. On something and you I'll need to start sending you in black or caliber south on lancers brown and guard we don't really have anything okay keep blowing the horns you'll get a charge off in the back of the moran and guard no nope, that was a bad one Get a charge in the back of the Black Uruk Halberds, maybe? And... Oh my god. Attack them. Looks like we're actually able to fight off their uh, Great Beast, but I mean... That's not gonna be enough. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. And everyone who has any ammunition left, go for the Southern Lancers. And you can try to capture some of them. Stop. Stop. Now we need to slow it down again. Blow the horn. Do we have any reinforcements that we can send into melee? Units are dying everywhere. Please. Freaking great beasts, man. Can we get shots off on that one, maybe? Actually, just run in with your uh, Alberts right now. Might be able to get a drop. You pull back. Run, please. 
keep blowing the horn. I don't know if it really has any effect whatsoever, but might as well give it a shot. Yeah, so will we soon, though. Here we go. Come over here and see if we can get a good charge off in the back of the Moran and Guard. As long as we stay away from the stakes, though. There we go. Attack the Moran and Guard in the back. And as soon as you are out of ammunition, I wanted to just... Charge straight into them, basically. Here we will have a cavalry charge. That should be good. Yes. I think it was pretty juicy. Now we just need to get out of here. You can charge them down. You help out here. Looks like they are starting to break. That's good. You help out there. You... Help out there. There are no non-combatants today. Great, now they're starting to break. Oh yeah. Don't I know it. And their gen their uh, general ain't isn't even uh, dead yet. But we are taking prisoners. That's good. I just really don't want them to come back to the battlefield. There we go. You come back and help here. You can fight against the cavalry, even though that's gonna hurt. You can help out there as well. Any big blobs here for us to take? Good. Now, just capture as much as possible. We need... Oh, 85. We're already done. But we've lost so many troops. So, so, so many troops. And most likely, this battle wasn't fought as... Um, as strategically sound as it could have been. I'm just happy that we won. Because... Oh my god, see... How depleted our infantry units are. Come on. I think we've captured enough already. Do we have any big blobs? I think because their captain was alive for so long, most of them actually fought um, till the death instead of breaking. There we go. Great work on taking prisoners. My cavalry got absolutely smushed by their southern lancers as well, which is not great, obviously. And now that we uh, have realized how weak our unit, our our armies here in the south, actually, or I should have been a lot uh, played it a lot safer with them. Ninety-seven. I think this is good enough. Yes. Let's exit the battle. We did not heal as much as I would have wanted. Down to 47% lost. Oh. Not a lot of friendly fire, it seems. That's good. Always like it when we don't have a lot of friendly fire. 228 on the Watchman, Watchman Axe Guard. 209 on the Watchman Sword Guard. And those are the MVPs. And look at that. We didn't heal that many units. But it, I think this general don't have the herbalist uh, trait or anything like that. But the Battle of Lebanon is won, and now Gondor should be able to get a garrison in there. I mean, we pay, oh, we pay dearly for the restoration of Gondor and uh, Rohan. We've paid for it with many lives. Just paused uh, the recording briefly to see if I'd actually started it after, <laughs> um, after the crash. You. Can't really get into Pelargir, can you? Your orders, my lord. And I think yes. that all of you should orders, my lord. try to join up, actually. Yes. Yes. yes, we should try to join you up, and you can stand down here instead. Then I think we will have one army, at least. You will still stand on the bridge. You did get a garrison, that's great. And Karasast 
is taken, we're just going to repair it. So now we might have a couple of defensive battle at uh, Karasast. If not, ooh, okay. If we had the movement points, we could just move in and take Pelargir as well. Or just move straight to Min. But I wanted to save Minas Tirith for last. Now we have another battle to fight. And I'm yes, thinking my Your orders, my lord. that yes, my lord. this army is the one that I want to lead. Yes, my lord. My lord. Your orders, my lord. Because it's uh let's see what you actually ha you're actually a faction heir, aren't you? Adopted, handsome, naive. Yeah. I'll lead with this army and No, but all of them have good units. Freaking frack, I'll just attack with this one. Quick save, and you can be commanded by the AI. I'm just thinking that if I lead the one with the most artillery, we don't really have to worry too much about the other ones. You have some great beasts as well, and some beaten up cavalry. Fun stuff. Let's get in to it. Man, I mean, what Gondor mo might, must have faced during this campaign with them being pushed so hard by both Isengard and Mordor. The tide of battle seems to have turned against and the um, and, hope this turn of event. and the stacks that they send out absolutely ridiculous. There we go. And put the artillery up here. Then we have our missile troops. Put them right here. And put down stakes on this side. And then we'll put our cavalry on the other side. Just so we don't accidentally run them into the stakes like we've done previously. Okay. And then we have the chalk infantry. Oh, this army is really beaten up. I don't think we can afford the luxury of shock infantry, actually. Except for the lumbermen. They just kind of have to be um, shocked because they can't do anything else. Move you back just a smidge. There we go. Then we have general lumbermen. I think something like this looks good. Both of you fire and fire at will and start the battle. Now you can actually come back here as well. And I would love it if you were to get some good shots off at their great beasts. Oh, this is going to be a brutal fight. Balance of power is not even in our favor. And they will be joining up their forces before attacking us. Clever lads. And they get... That trolls are great beasts. Looks like great beasts, doesn't it? And will you start marching towards us? First, you will be getting into formation. Okay. So we can group up the whole army. And then move forward just a little bit. I want the I want to be in range. Uh, I want them to be in range by our artillery. There we go. Now they're in range. Shoot at them. Shoot at them. You are in range. Why are you moving? Why are you moving? Okay, slow everything down. Why did they move when they said they were in range? That's what I want to know. Okay, you can ungroup everything now. You and you and you. You and you and you. Okay, god dang it. This is not going the way I wanted it at all. Group you up again. Then move forward again. Now, be a bit more. Oh, we are going to lose so many troops. God damn. Damn it! Ugh. Okay. Uh, all of our good archers focus on their great beasts. You focus at whatever. The great beasts as well, I guess. 
And do we have any infantry on this side? You can attack the Temple Knight. So can you. You can attack them as well. Heavy cavalry. Let's see if we can get our own cavalry down there. Oh, Jesus. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> okay. Any infantry, you can attack the Morgul Chosen. You can march in as well. Yeah, there we go. Missiles. All of you missiles start focusing at them. You start shooting at them as well. And you start shooting at them. You stay exactly where you are. And we'll see if we can just get a whole bunch of good shots off at the Great Beasts. Dude, you can't reach them. Why are you walking? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. <clears throat> are we at least starting to deal damage to them? Yes, we are. Oh, no. What was that? Missile troops keep focusing down the great beasts. Two of them. And you can move over here. Good tidings. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh god dang it. And now, of course, all of the um, archers will start dealing a massive amount of friendly fire. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just an absolute mess of a battle. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, but we are starting to run out of forces as well. And really good forces as well. That's what really freaking stinks. There we go. Keep shooting at them. I think both of the captains are fallen. So that's good. The great beasts deal so... Just cause an absolute... Reeking havoc. And you... Are not allowed to shoot anymore. Oh. Unfortunately, oh, our ally has suffered so heavy casualties. Oh my. Ugh. I am sweating bullets right now because it just physically hurts how freaking bad this battle went. There we go. At least have lost 84%. And good that we are sending reinforcements. After this battle, let's just not talk about it again. Because we all know what an absolute slugfest and trashy battle this was. Now we need to take as many prisoners as possible. You're doing a great job over there. You can go back and take these lads. Oh, Jesus, so many units. And I'm betting that it's only the good ones that are dead. <laughs> only the good die young. Units have started to rout as well, it seems. Yeah, but you're also fighting for free, right? 
Okay, a lot of prisoners taken. That's good. And I guess we'll just merge this army up then. Be awed by the victory yeah. One here today. Lost 37% all in all, but Harry's army, oh my god. Okay, uh, most in our army, 98, catapult, great stuff. And the other ones, let's see. Not a lot of friendly fire, that's good, but Bila Militia wiped out. Merchant Militia wiped out almost. Cell Swords wiped out. Oh my god, they lost so many units. Killed a few as well. I mean, they took the brunt of the entire battle. So they, I guess they did a good job as long as their general didn't die. I just want to check at the Steel Bowmen and all these expensive ones. 48 left. That's it, I guess. Blade Masters, one left. I lost 85, but killed a few as well. Council Guard have 20 left, so it's really uh, lucky that the general didn't die. Oh, that one physically hurt. <sighs> okay, moving on. Already forgot about that battle. Yes, my lord. Merge, merge. Yes, my lord. Let's Your throw lord. some bad units back here, actually. I think a lot of these lads can be merged yes, up. My lord. Right? Yes, I know at least that you two can be merged up here. And. Willing to. Your orders, my lord. Hmm. Yes, my lord. Axemen can be merged up. And... Wardens, I think you should be merged up as well. Yes. Huntsmen will be merged up. You need to just move back somewhere. Or actually, you might just... Um, put you into retirement. Now you can attack Kalanhad and you should be able to just march straight in. Yes, my lord. Your orders. My yes, my lord. What do we have left? Steelbowman, the this army's just shambles right now. Yes, my lord. You move the ballista into that army, merge it up. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. And I mean get some more archers, why not? But still I don't think. Yes, my lord. Your orders. We there are any more uh, squads that we can just merge out. Your orders, my lord. Oof, these armies have taken such a beating. Okay, but you will be reinforced though. That's good. So you can march back, and then you can attack Kalanhad. If we quick save and assault right away. We have the Witch King of Angmar and also Ka Captain Lunuf. We have you with Olog High. Now this is not actually how I want to play this. I wanted to attack from this side so you wouldn't be reinforced. But the game... No my god, misclick. Everything is gonna happen right now. Everything and anything can happen. Ugh. No, now most likely the Witch King might sally out. Yes, he will. And I will be attacked from the back as well. Oh, right, this was the army that reinforced. I mean, what the hell are we gonna do about this? Uh, except just quick save, stand in the corner, and just hope to... Hope to win and uh, save the general. Man, that misclick. Times like these is where I'm wishing that would like get an option. Are you sure you want to end the turn? The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Oh, right, because they sally out. Oh my god. Okay, they'll be coming from the back. 
uh my artillery can actually stand there and shoot then we need you won't be able to put out any stakes anyway but that is all of our archers move back here up into the oh actually it wasn't all of our archers there we go all of you move up here and run please you all are at fired will so that's good then we have our front lines that really needs to run down here to the artillery then we have the yeah you should also be in the front line obviously move up here there we go and you run back one of you there one of you there or walk back rather and you can actually move a little bit further up there we go and this one is going to drop really quick once their reinforcements are starting to settle in can almost reach them already actually okay so now it's starting to shoot and we need to focus on the olog high oh that was sweet night temple knights that's of course the um, witch knight i think all all of you need to focus at the olog high as well actually you can focus on the uh, Black Uruk Halberds. You can focus on them as well. You focus the Olog High. And you need to focus the Olog High as well. Actually, let's go with uh, not flaming shot so you're a bit more accurate. Scratch that, you're not being more accurate at all, are you? Okay, that's good. That one that's one Olog High dead. Good, 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 good. And now you actually need to start moving backwards. And all of our missile troops focus the Olog High. They are down to 10, and it looks like they're starting to drop now. The thing is, these are so freaking tanky. There we go. That's another one down. Another one down. Good, now they're starting to drop. We just really need to get them. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I was gonna say, we really need to get them to um, die before they can shock. Like so. You attack them. Now all the missile troops shoot at the Temple Knights. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And I want them to be caught by my spears, actually. There we go. And you attack them as well. Now the missile troops, sorry, can start shooting forward looks like we are starting to break um kill all the olog high you get into shield wall formation you march up and attack the south front lancers all of our missile troops focus at i don't know i don't know like a root archers maybe do we have any more infantry anywhere to use? Who did we kill? Captain Lunuf. Okay, so over there. Still need to kill the... Um... We still need to kill the Witch King. You keep shooting at them. You keep shooting at them as well. This is good. Is that the Witch Knight? Oh, the Witch King. Yes, Witch King of Angmar is dead. Problem though, that we don't have any 
cavalry to chase down potential um, retreating troops with. You attack them. Now they're all starting to break. You stop shooting. And... I guess the missile troops should just shoot as much as possible. Remember that we have spies in here. So the gates should be open to us. And you... You and you... Just run ahead of them. Man, if we were able to run in before them and shut the gates, that would be awesome. But now instead, I think we're going to suffer a whole bunch of um, power of fire. Or maybe not. I don't hear any um, powers shooting at us. But, looks like... Uh, their reinforcing army is coming. I wonder where from, though. Who are you fighting? Okay, now we really need to kind of get everyone into a position again. Slow everything down. And you can start shooting at the Black Uruks. What are you? You are line infantry. You can start marching up here as well. And we have some units fighting in on the square. I think they are effective against armor. So I think it's really good to have them here. Even though they are getting heavily reinforced. Get in here. Oh god, really heavily reinforced. Now, how's it going over here? Uh, they are already broken. Okay, now all of you really can just run into the city, I think. And you will already... Be able to kill all of them. Our infantry is doing a great job there in the center, even though they are absolutely getting hurt in the process. Why are you running away? I just wanted to take them prisoner. Okay. All of my troops don't need uh, you, though. But you and you and you, all of you can start marching in. There we go. All of you, some of you actually have ammunition left. So you and you and you and you and you and you need to start shooting at the Black Uruk Halberds. You don't though. Okay, now they're all pulling back. And we are doing a great job here. Even though I'm losing a lot of in melee infantry in the process. But that's the thing. Fighting against halberds, that hurts. Of course. Uh, we still have a lot of time left, though. We lost 25%, uh, killed 95 I think that's good. Anything that can kind of shoot them in the back would be good here. Like so. Every volley is killing, basically. There we go. Now we should be finished. Heal from 27 casualties down to 15. So we only lost 300 troops. That's okay. And we killed the Witch King of Angmar. We've taken Kalanhad. Um, yeah. Good stuff. All in all, I think we fared pretty well. Uh, really fortunate that we managed to kill so many of the Olagai before they attacked us.
Not a lot of friendly fire. MVPs. 260, 292 on the Watchman Sword Guard. I really need more of these lads. They are absolute slayers. 260 on the other Watchman Sword Guard. They didn't heal that too many of their own troops though. Uh, anyone over two? Anyone else over 200? Not really. But basically, all of our troops contributed a lot. The Ballista dealt two casualties. Inflicted two casualties. The Catapult inflicted 31 casualties. So, wah, wah on that one. The Kalanad is taken. And now it's just Sakaruni. Move up to reinforce. We have a lot of armies to move down there. And also... We have a lot of armies that we need to train to get down there as well. Back the settlement. Good. Our courage and honor have conquered. Ooh, I spy with my little eye a Mordor general. You want me to take Ostithil? Dude, I have my own problems on the actual mainland right now. Right, 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 right. You... We have 91% chance. It's going to be open. Great. Now, can we merge stuff up there? Yes, some. And just move you into that army, I guess. Merge. Move you into that army. Merge. And then... We can move both of the generals in, actually. And we will be able to take Pelargid pretty much right away. Making a lot of money because we uh, misclicked. Construction report, right. Uh, Bree, you got in. I guess. Herbalist would be fun here. And next, Buzradum. Already building good stuff. Solvorn, you got the upgrade. Money, 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 money. And Tharbat, Royal Hall. Train a bunch of stuff. Even though we most likely won't be able to get it down in time. And Karndoom got the cheap farming. Go with the cattle. Arch leg. Lumber camp. Already building something else. That's good. Dundang getting great roads. You can actually go with the lumber camp. All these things. Oldberg. Right. And now I think I've done almost all that I can. Increase the morale. We can get even further, though. We can start training some stuff. Four turns. So let's go with this. The armor first. And I think the culture will kind of take care of itself. And Karazas. That's just a whole bunch of things I've, re uh, I've repaired. Now we need to defend against this Mordor army here. I would like to just be able to give more stuff to um, to Gondor. What happened here? Your orders, my lord. Has that Mordor army been pushed back, I wonder? I wonder. My lord. You kind of go up here and see what... Oh, damn. Mordor might actually be able to walk through over here as well. Oopsie daisy. So, now you can start moving... East. With honor. Good, 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 good. Now, this army. Yes, my lord. And move, and let's see. Cavalry. Oh, we have so many good things here. Move in. We have room for two more things. We don't train, haven't trained any um, cavalry, though. So I think this would be good. And you can just start walking. Good, and then we have everything else, don't we? Even if there's not a general, we still need boots on the ground. You won't be able to join quite yet. And I think we should have more cavalry somewhere. No, maybe not. Yes, no, maybe so. You, okay, all of you are already set to march. That's great. And you should start marching the next turn as well. And we will reinforce you with even more great stuff. Now we're just starting to train again. Even though we have really high upkeep. We also have a really high income. 
So we're doing all right. Are we building everywhere now where I want to build? Uh, Hobbiton. Noise, noise. And okay, you can actually build something. Crop rotation. Cheap farming, etc, etc. And now we're going to get a whole bunch of messages about uh, about training and recruitment. And I'm not really going to read them, to be honest. Karazast and Kalanhad. Both of these I plan on giving to Gondor. So we don't need to build anything there right now. Good. Good, 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 good. Your orders. Now we need to just get yes, my lord. this mess Your will, my lord. fixed. Um... Your orders, my lord. You I don't really think I need to disband you, to be honest. Yes, my lord. But I will. Because you're just taking up unnecessary space right now. You have room for four. So let's just take... Yes, your orders. You don't have any artillery. Let's start off with that. And actually... I can take you out of um, retirement. Like so. Welcome back. Now. Yes. Wardens. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Don't need you in this army. Your will, my lord. You might be able to merge up. Your will, my lord. I mean, this takes a while to get through all of this. You. Yes, my lord. My lord. Can join there. Joining. Then we have wardens, farmhand pikemen. Do we have any farmhand pikemen? Any takers on farmhand pikemen? Yes. Disband. Yes, my lord. Then I think it's starting to look pretty gosh darn good, actually. And you can be disbanded as well. Where do we have Breland? Yes, my lord. Archers, basically in all of them. Oh. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Okay. Now I'm just gonna actually take some squads and put them in like you in there we have room for one more maybe you can join that one you room for one right there we go now you're done and you should be able to take out that army and you are like so Actually, I will disband you. Room for four. Yes, my lord. You, oh damn, we bar ha barely have any infantry in that army. Oops. So I guess something like this. And you can move into Oldberg. Um, because hopefully you should be able to be retrained. You can start moving down. That's good. We have some really good reinforcements coming on here. Nice, nice. And you will keep going. And I'm thinking that Kalanhad is shouldn't go to Rohan, but should rather go to Gondor. And you could reach Karandros in this turn. But you will still be able to attack Kalanhad because Minas Tirith. Hmm. Yes, your order. Would be nice to clear out that army. Your order. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you there and you there and then attack. Absolute mad lad still wants to fight. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine by me. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. So negative. Start the deployment. Oh, this is the absolute, uh, absolute opposite of where we would like to be. Let's just move everything up here to the side instead. And do we have any? You have skirmish mode. Have a lot of archers. And uh, remember that these guys uh, damage morale. So that's absolutely amazing. Unless you do a lot of friendly fire, then it's going to absolutely suck balls. 
or actually you can just do it like this all of our melee units and that's really not a lot general start the battle move everyone and group you up Let's see if we can just turn everything around That would be swell. And our ally will actually be coming from uh, behind us. So that's going to be great as well. That we will be able to kind of get clumped up hopefully. And. Everything will soon be in formation. And the archers will start shooting right away. I'm guessing. What do you have over there? Great beasts again? Yeah. Dang. And our ally just. Leroy Jenkins in this thing. Uh, missile troops. Start shooting up. Oh, Morgul's Chosen. That's something that we really want to shoot down. Morgul's Chosen. You can attack, I guess, whatever you want to shoot at. Wherever you can reach. You start shooting at the Halberds. And can you actually reach the Olog High? They only have two, though. So I think our allies should be able to deal with that quite well. And that's not good. Start moving back. Start moving back. Can we get you up here instead, I wonder? Start moving back. And we're getting great shots at the Morgul Chosen. So if you can hit them as well there. Oh, please. Just start moving back. What's wrong with you? Move back. Okay. Run over here instead. No sense of survival whatsoever. Come on, why are you so stupid? Oh, god dang it. Okay, now, slow everything down a smidge. We need to get our cavalry out into the open. Victory emerge. Yeah, but I mean, they have a lot of troops here. You can start to tie them up, all of the archers. Start shooting at something else, like the Moran and Guard there, maybe. And if you move back here, you should be able to get really good shots off on them. There we go. And then start shooting at the Moran and Guard. Cavalry, get over here. Oh, damn. Yeah, something's telling me my ally is going to deal a massive amount of friendly fire to me. Hmm. Who would have thunk? Start taking, or start um, capturing everything that's running. You attack them, you as well, and then we will be, like, uh, encircling them and start taking prisoners. I mean, can I, uh, can I ask their catapult to just stop shooting? There we go. Now you can stop firing. And I think all of my archers can stop shooting actually. Because everything they have is starting to break. And we can start increasing the speed just a little bit. Of course he is. Of course our ally lies freaking slain upon the battlefield. That sucks, of course. I mean lost like 400 troops and one of them being the general but like i said in the previous battle you can just tell that he oh my god that he really just uh jumped in go for them and you should go for them we still have a lot of prisoners to take And we haven't gotten a message that he died, but I know that he did. You go after them now, please. We've taken 700 prisoners so far. And I think that's 
all that's left. Even though there are a lot of uh, red markers on the map, I think most of them are just... Oh my... Stop shooting! What the hell is wrong with you? Ugh. That's why I very rarely want to have allies um, controlled by the AI and have artillery. I think that's good enough. 98. Let's see. 21. What did we heal? 16. Yeah, that's not good. Not good. Let's see. Friendly fire. We didn't deal that much. Maybe 50 in friendly fire. And our ally cost... Oh, even less, actually. It's just one hit of 26 on the Watchman Axe Guard. Okay, MVP in my ally, 123, 136 on the Watchman Axe Guard. And we got 142 on the Sindar Archers. But I think that this 16 is just going to die anyway. Too bad. Anyway, the Battle of Anorian is won. And now we have a whole bunch of reinforcing troops. I wonder if we could move that army back that doesn't have a general right now and get him to kill the Mordor general up to the north side here. Then we can get a man of the hour out of that noble death. Well, was it that noble? He kind of did a really dumb thing. Okay, but now. You... Okay, all of you have already maxed out your movement points. But I would like... Actually, not all of you. All of you. Oh my god, why? Okay, this army will then be moving on to kill him. That would be good. And then we'll hopefully get a man of the hour out of that. Uh, you're 67% chance. You should start infiltrating Minas Tirith. And you can't move anymore. Oh, this... Uh, this army is really more meant for the open field. But you can attack Pelargir and take that one back. So that's good. Sack the settlement. And now, a whole bunch of stuff has been given back. You really need to get a garrison in there, though. ASAP. And... I think this is starting to look good. I think we're ready to wrap up the episode. We have really pushed Mordor at very heavy costs on uh, our own lives. Ooh. Merchant. So we really paid dearly for the battle, for the wins. Some more than others, obviously. But our armies are ready to move now. And the southern side, I mean, they might just be able to do this. They only have Karasas left, and then it's Minas Tirith. So maybe I spoke, or panicked rather, a bit prematurely. Everyone's moving... As soon as fast as they can. Over there. Good. Now it's time to wrap it up. So we have not had a single bridge battle. Which went completely against my uh, what I thought was going to happen. My forecast. We've taken Kalanhad. We've taken Karasast. We've taken Pelargir. And uh, we've fought a couple of battles. <laughs> That's to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next one. Oh!